What's up everyone, this is the first video of a compilation I'll be posting here in the channel for beginners, medium and advanced players with things like first steps to options and mechanics in general. I hope this helps everybody, draw your school and let's jump into the Dark Anchor. The Main Quest The Main Quest can be started by going into the harborage of your main capital city. If you're Daggerfall, it's in Glenumbra. If you are a Dominion player, it's in Auridon, behind the Vukogard city, around the beach on this side. For the red players, the Ebonheart Pact, it's in Stonefalls, behind the main city Davon's Watch, around here. If you haven't started yet, you have to go to your main city. Three ones I just showed you, and talk to the benefactor NPC, which will give you a quest to start the main quest, and then later on sending you to the harborage. Equipping and unequipping skills. By pressing start, going under skills, you can have access to your skills tree. When you start a game, you have access to one skill of each class skill tree. By pressing X on it then square in one of those skills, you can equip it. Or you can go all the way on the top, press X on the skill and select which skill you want to equip. To remove your skill from your skill bar, you just have to replace it by another skill. And you have an input bar. Ultimates are unlocked on level 12 of the skill tree of the classes or the weapons. As soon as you level up your character, you're gonna have access to a brand of a lot of skills from classes to weapons, armor, guilds and other stuff. To level up those skills, they must be on the bar that you complete your quests and get XP. So if you complete a quest that gives you XP or kill a monster that gives you XP on the primary bar, all the skills that are on the front bar will get that XP and level it up. By achieving level 4, you can morph the skill and select a brand new skill with different aspects and effects. Equiping and unequiping weapons and armor sets. When you press start and go to inventory, you have access to all your weapons and armor. By pressing X, you can select another weapon and equip or unequip. By pressing triangle you gain another options such as enchant, unequip, lock and unlock so you can keep it safe to not delete them by mistake, repair, link in chat so others can see it and get help to send information to the support. Journal by pressing start and going under journal and then quests you can select and check all the active quests you have on the moment on your character by pressing triangle you can abandon get help or share if you have someone with you the quests are divided by the states they are localized and the main quest by pressing square on the quest it's gonna show you where the quest it's localized and then by pressing L1 you can zoom out if the quest is situated inside a place that you can't see by opening the map touchpad on PS4 you can see your map. By pressing L1, you can zoom out to achieve the world map. By pressing R1, you can zoom in. If you hold square, you're gonna open the zone guide, which tells you all the information, all sky shards, delves, cities and histories and world bosses and more that you have killed and completed in that area. By pressing square 
or the respective button on which platform you're playing, you can open the start zone history and then they're gonna start with the first quest for that zone. Each place have its own history and you have to complete it all to achieve the whole history of the game. Equiping a horse by achieving the level 10, you're gonna gain access to a horse by pressing start, going collections, mounts, you're gonna see it on the list, the sorrow horse. By pressing X, you're gonna activate, and then you hold the touchpad to mount on your horse. By pressing the L3, the left stick, you can sprint with the horse. Training the horse by going into the stable master that lies in the end city. You can train your horse by a small quinty in gold. And then you have to wait for the cooldown to train again after it completed. Increasing the backpack space. Every character have amount of player capacity. To increase that you got to go in a bag merchant on any, any main city talk to it and buy the upgrade it starts on a few thousands to 20, 30 and forward as you buy the price increases and you gain more backpack space to put more valuable items on your character accessing the bank every city that it's a main city is gonna have a bank if you talk to her you can deposit or take out items and currencies from your bank. Gold, alliance points that you make on PvP, Televar that you make on PvP zone, the vouchers that you get from doing master rates, and now your items. Fixing the armor. As you die, your character damage the armor and it's gonna get to a point that the armor is not gonna give you defense or stats anymore to fix it you go in the merchant store and click on repair by opening your inventory you can see on the blue bar if it's damaged or not as you use them they start casting the enchants to fix it you press triangle on the item charge and then you're gonna charge your weapon again. By achieving level 15, you're gonna gain access to a second bar, which can be accessed by pressing the left D-pad on a controller. And you can use different skills on both bars or different weapons. Effects, attributes, and character information. By pressing start, going to the character, into description you can see race class your level your rank on pvp your alliance the riding training uh, cooldown and the xp progress also you can see your active effect debuffs and other things as well the attributes after achieving level 10 you're gonna gain access to the dungeon finder to access it you press start go in activity finder dungeon finder Random dungeon where you can do a daily random dungeon which gives you daily bonus rewards and can be done every 24 hours and a specific specific dungeon which you can just go there and select and join kill. On the top of the screen you have the tank, healer and damage roll which you have to select which one are you doing before you apply. Well, that's it for today's videos. I hope you guys like it. The help. I hope that helps everybody. We we'll see you on the next video. See you guys.